Bueno, que nos levantemos a hacer la, el juramento de la bandera. A la de los Estados Unidos de América, la República que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Señor Ross, por favor, pase lista. Señor Lagrange. Señor Lagrange. Señor Lagrange. Uh, Reverend Matias Zapson today, Matias, Pastor, Pastor Moody. Yes. Pastor Moody. Dr. Randalls. Dr. Randalls. Present. Mr. Ross, present. present. Ms. Slade. Present. Ross, present. Dr. Ross, Dr. present. Dr. Dr. Flack. Dr. Flores. Dr. Flores. President. President Baker. President Here. Baker. We have a quorum okay. with eight. Can I get a motion for an approval of the agenda? Can I get a motion for an approval of the agenda? Can I get a motion for an approval of the agenda? Can I get a motion for an approval of the agenda? Can I get a motion I would like to ask uh, Dr. Baker first if Kurt Johnson, Baker. I feel like my mic Primero, is not on. Kurt Johnson, um, Kurt Johnson okay, if you will come forward, please. Please. Kurt Johnson, if you could come forward. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Kurt's mic is on. <laughs> my mic is on. Kurt, yes, it works. Yes, it works. I love using that, that elementary voice, me recess me voice me when I get a chance to. Well, good evening, uh, Dr. President Dr. Buenas Baker, tardes, President Superintendent, Dr. Baker, Weather O'Neill, and our other distinguished Weather board members. It is a pleasure to be with you once again to share on the celebration portion of the agenda for this meeting. Celebración de la agenda um, you know, um, we have... Um, really worked Hemos to improve and we're trying to perfect what we deliver in our extracurricular programs. Uh, we still have some lofty goals and a long way to uh, reach our goals, but we are experiencing some successes along the way. And uh, we'd like to share those with you intermittently as uh, the seasons end and, and um, we are able to uh, allow you to share in what has taken place there. Um, we are really benefiting from the transformation plan that allowed us to kind of reconfigure how we do programming, and it has allowed us to uh, elevate the level of play of many of our student athletes. We have seen numerous uh, individual student athletes and teams participate in postseason play, uh, continuing their competitions after the regular season has ended. At the district level, the regional level, the state level, and even in some cases the national level. And that really speaks to um, how um, the competitiveness of our students is increasing. We have seen records in all of the schools that have stood for decades, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 years or more, uh, which shows that our kids are doing great things uh, at this time in um, our history. So um, without any further ado, I want to bring forward the high school athletic director, Mr. Marcus Harris from Iowa Hills, Marcus Hills and Justin Hills. Walker from Justin Walker, Union High School to share here in some of the celebrations, and we have many of them on there, but we're going to zoom through them and summarize them and uh, give you a chance to meet and greet the athletes as they leave. Good evening, uh, President Baker, Superintendent Neal, and the rest of our distinguished board members. Thank you for allowing me to come here today to share some of the great joys that we have had during the winter season at Union High School. Like Mr. Johnson said, we have had a number of student athletes represent our district well, and in that representing of our district, they were able to earn some accolades along the way. Uh, the first one being for boys uh, swim, Sudovis Tanambol and Ian Wazlowski were both named uh, first team all conference in the OK uh, conference Rainbow Tier 3. And then also the boys swim team set a new 200 meter free relay record uh, this past winter. And uh, both Ian and Sudovis were a part of that relay team along with uh, Andy Zink and Eric Wazlowski who um, were also a part of that relay team. So they took down a record um, that stood for quite some time like Mr. Johnson said. 
So um, that was great to see. And also with our hockey team this year, we had three all-conference athletes in the sport of hockey. Um, that is the first time we have had multiple all-conference athletes in uh, hockey in quite some time. Um, those athletes were Quentin Gerke, Alex Monteith, and Ian Sorge. So those athletes represented our district very well in the sport of hockey. Moving on to competitive cheer, we had two all-conference competitive cheer. I know Superintendent Neil was happy to hear that. But uh, all, all conference cheer was uh, Rebecca Bra Barajas and uh, Zoe Boltman. And that is the first time Union Boltman. has had multiple all conference cheerleaders as well. So um, uh, Coach Harrison is doing a great job with that program. And I'm expecting even more all conference athletes for uh, competitive cheer next year. And I'm looking forward to that. Boys basketball, we had one all conference athlete in the Quavion Stucky. He made first team. And Keedron Davis, uh, he made all conference honorable mention for boys basketball. And lastly, we have our girls' basketball program. Um, they made tremendous strides this year. Um, they finished with an overall record um, of 11-9, and nine, which is the best record they have had since uh, we have joined the OK Conference. And uh, they were led by two outstanding um, seniors who um, both um, will be playing college basketball next year. Tyra Williams will be attending Siena Heights, and she was an all-conference athlete, and she reached a career milestone this year in scoring over 1,000 points in her career. And kind of put that in perspective, um, 20 games a season, so some games she, she put the ball in the basket a lot, and that's just a, a testament to her hard work over the years, and Patriola Winnington who is also a senior this Patrick year, will be attending uh, Whittier College este out in California, también, and she will be playing basketball, and she was an all-conference honorable mention athlete. Um, we also had two other seniors on that team um, that did not make all-conference, but still were uh, great contributors to this program, and they will uh, uh, be attending college next year as well. Muslim Sheik will be attending Grand Valley uh, State University, and Cheryl Barraza will be attending Wayne State. Um, the last thing about that girls' basketball program, they're starting five GPA combined was over 3.5. So uh, not only did they get done on the court, but they got it done. Again, we had a great winter season at Union High School. I look forward to the spring. It's already off to a great start. Um, I encourage you all to come out to the baseball, soccer, and softball match or tennis when you get a chance. And I will turn it over to Marcus Hill, the athletic director at the Voy a entregar el micrófono con el director de atletismo. Good evening, uh, President Dr. President Baker, Baker, Superintendent Weatherall Neal, and Weather other Neal. distinguished board members. Y Thank you for having us. Uh, again, I'm Marcus Harris, Iowa Hills Athletic Director, Harris, and I am here to as well uh, talk about our winter sports season and our summary of uh, some of the good things we've done at Ottawa Hills and accomplishments uh, during the winter sports season. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with our boys' swim program, which over the years, Coach uh, Eve Julian has done a tremendous job Coach over the years with our board, e. our uh, boys swim I program, and as you can uh, be aware, she's been here several times uh, uh, for our boys swim program. Uh, overall, uh, again, we had a winning record, uh, five and two uh, overall record in our, for our swimming. We had four all-conference uh, selections this year, in our, we're in the same tier as Union, tier three. Uh, which was Robert Paul, Robert Michael Paul, Paul, Michael Paul Jack, Cope, Jack Cope, and A.J. Oliver. AJ Oliver. Uh, Robert Paul Roberto was a state Roberto qualifier for Division II state finals in the 50 free, the 100 free, and the 200 medley relay, and 200 free relay. Michael Paul, his twin brother, also was a state qualifier for Division II for the 100 fly, 200 medley relay and 200 free relay. AJ Oliver, who's a sophomore, also was a state qualifier uh, in the 100 breaststroke, the 200 medley relay, and the 200 free re relay. And also, last but not least, a senior Jack Cope was part of the 200 meter relay and the 200 free relay for the state finals. 
Also, along these four guys broke several records this year. Robert Paul broke the 50 free Ottawa Hill school record and the Rainbow Conference record and also the Hastings Pool record, which we annually hold our OK Conference meets. AJ Oliver broke the 100 breaststroke Rainbow Conference meet and also the Hastings Pool record. Uh, and Robert Paul, Hastings Michael Paul, Poole AJ, and Jack Cope Michael also broke Paul the 200 free relay Rainbow Conference meet. El, also, we have de, two academic All-Americans on our swim team, Ten, tenemos, which was uh, dos, Michael Paul and Robert uh, Paul uh, with a 3.8 uh, uh, GPA uh, and also a 3.95 GPA. 3.95 GPA. <laughs> And also, our Ottawa Hills También. boys basketball y, team had a pretty good season this Hills, year. Uh, uh, coached los, under Coach Van Mayfield. De uh, they continue to strive, like Kirk Johnson Mayfield, said, in the postseason as well. Uh, this year, we had three all-conference este selections uh, with Lance Wyndham Clayton, Anthony McIntosh, and Ohani Ichibaria. And Mark also, we had one honorable mention Gitarre. athlete tenemos, as well with James Beck. The boys' basketball James team Beck. had an overall record of 20 and 4, and also 9 and 1 in the conference, which uh, gave them the OK Gold Conference Championship. Also this year, they were district championships, which was back-to-back, back-to-back regional final, semi-final appearances. And also, this was the third district championship in four years under Coach Van Mayfield for the Ottawa Hills Boys Basketball Program. This season as well, the boys' freshman, JV, and varsity teams all won the OK Gold Championship this year. Lance Wyndham Clayton, which is a senior, was selected to the Grand Rapids Press M Live Area Dream Team first team which is only one of five members sueños, on that team in this area. He averaged 18 points and shot 46% from the three-point range after shooting over 200 three-pointers over the season. Tiro 46, so the boys' uh, basketball team continues to strive and make postseason appearances, and hopefully we can reach that next step in regionals next year. <laughs> Así que esperamos also, que the logre, girls' basketball program, which is coached under Pat Charity, También, uh, is moving along and continuing good progress, not only on the court, mujeres, but off the court as well, where we have several girls who got a 4.0 GPA after the third marking period. En el, la cancha de Brooklyn de Atletismo y de fuera. Hay tres niñas y muchachas que ganaron. Brooklyn Bowman notas. is a freshman Brooklyn at Ottawa Hills on the JV basketball team. La, Mariana McGowan is a freshman on the Ottawa Mariana Hills Jones freshman girls basketball es, team. Uh, Alexis Baskin is a Alexis junior Baskin at U Prep on the varsity basketball Uprep team. La, el, Her sister, China Figures, la, is a sophomore at U Prep on the JV basketball team. Kennedy Lewis is a freshman at Ottawa Hills on the JV basketball team. And Diamond Phillips, who's a freshman on the varsity yes. Ottawa Hills primer basketball año, team. All yes, of these girls uh, reached perfection in after the third marking period Apple getting Hills. the 4.0 GPA. So again, uh, thank you, President Dr. Baker, Superintendent Weatherall Neal, and other board members, and also thanks to our coaches for doing a tremendous job. And last but not least, thank you to all the parents who are with us today and helping these student athletes strive to be the best they can be. Thank you. One of the things that we try to pay particular uh, uh, attention to is um, our lower level developments because um, that sets the momentum for some of the high school performances. And you know, we have an interesting configuration in our district in terms of the number of programs we have, the type of programs we have, and some of the uh, challenges or, um, um, let's see, I would say, uh, yeah, challenges that we have in terms of making it all work. A lot of dismissal times, uh, geographical locations and facilities and whatnot. But we uh, come together under our leadership of our superintendent and, and figure out how to make it happen for the students and the parents there. We've had uh, one person in our midst who has been recognized by his peers in the state of Michigan. Um, the Michigan uh, at, at Athletic Administration Association has recognized Dan Covey as the middle school athletic director of the year. Uh, they are recognizing the work that he is doing over at CA Frost, which is a tremendous job in terms of getting those programs up and running and keeping them going in the best interest of students in the school and the parents in the community. So we would like to also recognize him. 
There are several accomplishments that are going on in middle school as well as elementary, and we've kind of summarized them uh, in the interest of time in your package there, so you can kind of read through them. But at some later point in time, we would like to also showcase some of our elementary and middle school students in terms of what they're doing and the momentum that we want them uh, to bring to the high schools and continue this uh, level of development. So again, we would like to thank uh, our leadership of our superintendent. Uh, you all, as board members, are a big part of why this happens the way it is. You, know, uh, you set the tone, you set the expectations, and we try to carve out and deliver on those expectations uh, because you have your minds and, and, and thoughts and, and desires and hearts set on students and students doing well. And so we go out and try to do that, that grunt work for you and represent the district well. So we want to thank you as well, along with the parents as well as the schools. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So we're going to send them around the circle and then. I'm going to Way to represent. such a strong connection between sports and academics, you know, oh, I mean, you. discipline peace. Thank you. I know I wrestled in Central Thank High School. Thank you. Co-captain of the team there, along with Reverend Dean. He likes to say he taught me everything I know about wrestling. All right. Moving on. Should have the rest of the people move forward. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no sports? Right. You don't run a marathon or anything? I'm sure that works. Um, <laughs> well, student Report. representatives. Report. Um, Representantes de estudiantiles. Like to go ahead. Sure thing. Um, so on March 2nd, when we had the City High forensics and debate team here, uh, everyone was really approving of the good work that they've been doing. And everyone noted that, you know, it would be a great thing if we could expand this program to other schools in GRPS, which is something that Mr. Gorman, Mr. Harris, uh, UPREP and Central had been working on. And I had the awesome opportunity last Friday to talk to uh, Mr. Gorman about what would be some good things we could do to get these programs kicked off. And so I was really happy to have that opportunity. I'm really happy that our schools are maybe going to have the opportunity to expand this program. And I would like to, after the board meeting, if it would be okay with everyone, if I could just hand out uh, just a small report on what I think would be great for us to do going forward. Okay. Is it working? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm a little disappointed on my peers. I've had a little inspiration to speak about to be how uh, senior artists is real. I thought it was a myth, but no. <laughs> it's real. Uh, I find myself procrastinating a lot, but it's in this school year, so I'm trying to wrap it up and do good. Uh, I should think at my school where all the seniors that were in the auditorium, everybody raised their hand uh, to show if they've been accepted to colleges, and I was just surprised the number of hands I was raised. It's just due to all the great teachers that have been going on in our schools and hiring, I, I just appreciate the board and how you guys hire teachers. You know, my principal is really great, and I know how he is and his expectations. 
He's always on me. He's always on me. So, siempre se mete uh, conmigo. Siempre se mete conmigo. If I turn it some way, it's actually kind of weird because si he knows about it so much. Y él lo sabe. Así que por eso. Así es él. Él se mete conmigo. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Bueno, grandioso. Y gracias. Muchas gracias. Moving on. Superintendent's report. Enseguida. O sea, siguiendo. I would like to ask. I'm not sure. Rick. Rick and Matthew. If you can come forward, please. Señor Rick y Matthew, si pueden venir adelante, por favor. I'm sorry. I'm left over here. Skip an order a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> we'll go back. Okay. Yes, I'll go back. Wow. Thank you, Your Superintendent Neal, President Superintendent Baker, Neal, members of the board. I'm uh, happy to report tonight on an initiative between the European me alegre Preschool Program and PNC esta Bank. Noche. De la relación iniciativa to start off, they PNC say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Mm -hmm. I'd like to start with a video worth a million. <laughs> vale Julie, if palabras, you can entonces, eh, quiero comenzar con un video que vale un millón. <coughs> So as you can see from that video, we've got a really nice initiative launched that started at one school, Dickinson, two years ago with me as the teacher. Uh, and now it's grown to over five schools and more is coming online every day. So I'd like to introduce Sean Walsh, the regional bank president for PNC. Uh, good evening, and thank you for inviting us here tonight. Uh, I was just thinking I'm usually a little more nervous when I'm testifying in front of an elected body. <laughs> this is a great night. Uh, I'll be kind. <laughs> it was the music, right? <laughs> we, uh, we started a number of years ago, approximately 10 years ago, a program at PNC. Uh, where we determined the greatest impact that we can make with our philanthropic dollars is to invest in the development of, of early childhood. And uh, for the first 10 years, we invested $100 million. Uh, we've now recommitted for the next 10 years, and we committed to $250 million for the next 10 years. And we do this throughout our region, throughout our states that we operate. And we started here in Grand Rapids, as Matthew said, about two years ago. And I, I look at those pictures, and it makes me very happy to see it, because A, I know the kids are getting much impact. But the selfish part of me is our employees love that. Mm -hmm. And they are having a great time, and it's helping us create a work atmosphere that they were proud of where they work. Um, so as we go forward, our grow up great for grant hours. Um, just to give you a little synopsis of it, we pay uh, 40 hours of volunteer time for our employees uh, during work hours. And if they volunteer at one of these GRPS, early childhood programs, which we're going to hear about tonight, and they hit that 40 hours during work hours, we'll donate on their behalf $1,000 to the school. 
mil dólares so, uh, de parte de ellos. Mi asociado Moreno siempre me hace eso porque yo me voy por el banco y le digo a Bruno, camino por la el banco, tienes mil dólares en tu banco, en tu bolsillo, debes buscarlo. En las en los videos es una inspección así como está. Y queremos um, incorporarnos we can make a para difference in y podemos hacer una diferencia, preparar a los niños que tengan éxito, porque todo es todo lo que necesitamos so es una posibilidad, o sea, una oportunidad. Nos alegra seguir adelante, nos alegra estar aquí um, con el equipo de Maureen Hill está, uno de los voluntarios de Dickinson, Dickinson. Hours, lograron to say. sus horas um, de and because it was our great Tenth anniversary for the program. We decided this year we programa, would double the grant. Um, so this team that Maureen is a part of was able to raise. There was a three-member team. They were Maureen. able to raise nine thousand dollars to give to GRPS for early childhood. So I think that's kind of cool, and I'm going to hand it over to Maureen because she did all the work. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Um, I'm really happy to be here because, as Sean said, this program is such a big impact in our company, but again, what's, what's the most fun about it is being out in the schools. And as Matthew said, we started when he was still teaching about a year ago with this team, and we volunteered over 180 hours in the last 12 months to earn that $9,000. But what we got out of it more than, than that, which obviously is a big deal for the classrooms and some of the neat things they're going to be able to have, um, it's just really the interaction with all the kids, um, and it is the highlight of my day, those days I get to go there, and I walk in, and kids come running at you, Miss Marine, and drag you by the hand, read me this story, or can you play this game with me, or do this, and, that, and I... I'm here representing my team, Jill Talzma and Lauren Rodewald as well. They were in the video. Um, same experiences. That's what they love the most is about really interacting with the kids. You saw some of the photos. You know, we read stories. We play games. We've been on a number of field trips. Uh, Jill went to the farm um, last year, and we've been to the Meyer Gardens. And upcoming here next week, uh, the, all three classes from Dickinson are going to come down to the bank downtown, see the branch, see the bank, come upstairs. We're going to do a little spending, saving, and sharing with Elmo activity. So they're never too young to start thinking about those concepts. Um, I did one of those events just last week at Gerald R. Ford with our class there, and, and the kids are just so um, intense interested and they pay attention and they and I'm talking to him and I'm going, does Elmo have enough money? No, he needs three more dollars. So it's a really, really um, great thing for the kids and they get to go home with some lessons. They go home with the DVD um, and some other lessons they can do with the, with their family at home. So we're really excited about that. And one of the things you saw in the video, um, uh, an event we did last fall, um, Dickinson and Gerald R. Ford participated in a big effort that the PNC Great Program had which was to try to set the world record, the Guinness World Record, for the largest number of preschoolers doing a vocabulary lesson all at the same time. So throughout our footprint and all of our um, states that we're in, at a, at a certain time in October, we were all doing the same lesson. It was Mr. Tiger um, Goes Wild. And so we're happy to say that we did set the record. There were over 2,800 um, participants throughout all those footprints. So I have a couple of certificates here. To, I was going to give them to Matthew here, one for Dickinson and one for Gerald R. Ford, so they know that they were part of that world record attempt. So that was a fun thing we got to do this year as well. Thank you, Maureen. And just to sum it up, as I said, we, we do it because it makes a difference. Um, corporate America today, one of the biggest concerns that we have is the talent issue as we drive forward. And I think uh, we as a community in Grand Rapids and through the leadership of the school board and I think many other companies other than PNC, we're looking at it and saying we all have to invest in this and we all have to do it because we have to give these kids a chance. They're all the same. And it's just getting them on the right path. And that's we're having fun doing with it. Um, we also are running two banks um, in two of the schools, uh, uh, Burton and Alger, where we're running virtual banks. Uh, there's, there's a little bit of money there, so don't, don't go in there looking for loose change or anything, but these kids are fun. Um, uh, maybe someday they'll have my job as the president of the bank to run it, but uh, it's teaching them, it's empowering them, it's building their confidence, and what we give to them in developing those skills, I will tell you, they give back tenfold to our employees with the same thing, so thank you. Thank you very much. Tony. Tony. Oh. I have one comment uh, or question. I just, I also wanted to applaud Ms. Hale's leadership on first steps. It's much appreciated. So. 
And I actually realized I jumped forward in our agenda, so um, I didn't miss the uh, uh, first public comment section, if there's anybody here who did want to give public comment. Um, and since there is not, uh, we will go to the secretary's report. Uh, yeah, we have a few things to share with the board. Uh, opportunity to support after school programs. Uh, this coming Saturday, there's the annual collaborative youth fair that's going to take place at City High School, 9.30 to 1.30 a.m. Uh, the theme for this year is Loop Our Story. So there'll be opportunities for students to showcase work, projects, activities from the program. Uh, the students' work will be judged and they'll be given awards, best of show, outstanding participant, etc. There'll also be some singing and dancing performances. Uh, admission is free for anyone who wants to attend, of course, more included. And, um, there will be activities and prizes and other games and entertainment. Also, uh, on May 5th, there's a Cesar Chavez Cinco de Mayo celebration. Um, that's going to take place on the 5th at the GR Albany uh, Public Museum, uh, 11.30 to 1.30. There'll be some, some honorees, including the state superintendent, former state superintendent, I suppose, Michael Flanagan, uh, Connie Dang from GBSU, the Office of Multicultural Affairs, and uh, Chua Morales from Le Mayor uh, uh, GR. Uh, yeah. Tickets can be purchased yeah. through GRCC. Um, if anyone on the board wants to attend, please get in touch with Ms. Anderson uh, by April 29th. So we have a table? Okay. Yes. Um, also, for everyone, um, we will have a work session on May 4th uh, at 4.30. Uh, that may or may not have been on the calendars. And also on May 11th, there's going to be a hold on your calendars for a work session. So please plan accordingly for that. So the superintendent has requested uh, an additional work session. So this would be at 4.30 prior to our uh, next regularly scheduled uh, board meeting. Um, we may still need May 11th, but I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but for now, you can plan to be here early uh, May 4th, and we'll have dinner in between the two meetings. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, 4.30, so please at 4.30 work session May 4th. And I want to thank uh, Mr. Ross for filling in for uh, the secretary tonight. All right, our first action item is the exempt 60-day non-renewal -re resolution. Can I get a motion? Yes. Someone second it? Support. Uh, any discussion regarding this? Uh, Mr. Ross, can you take Ross, the roll? Mr. LeGrand? Uh, Pastor Moody. Yes. Dr. Randles. Yes. Mr. Ross. Yes. Ms. Slade. Yes. Dr. Fogg. Yes. Dr. Flores. Yes. President Baker. Yes. That motion passes 8 0. Okay, our next action item is to um, vote on support for the city board joint legislative platform. So we have, uh, we have John Hemphold to come forward and Dr. Wendy Fogg. I would ask. Uh, the two of them to partner and share a report. Do you want to stay sitting there and <laughs> <As well. laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Um, this is, uh, I'm trying to remember when we started to do these joint legislative priorities, but it's something that at the, at the city school liaison committee, uh, we started a few years ago, and so we were fortunate to have a representative from the city of Grand Rapids come to our last legislative meeting, and I know it's a areas of common interest, and in some cases, you know, it may be a little bit more of a stretch than in others, but what we were able to find is a number of issues like transportation, like environment and energy, obviously the education issues, looking uh, at different ways by which we can support the city, the city can support us, and that we have a mutual uh, legislative platform, so when our lobbyists are there in Lansing or in Washington, they're able to say we're there on behalf of the city of and so um, you have your pl the platform with you there. I can answer questions to the best of my ability as to, um, to the different issues. Well, I guess I just want to add that it's surprising how you cannot break the silos and not be aware of particular crossovers of legislative needs, and I just applaud the schools in the city, how well we partner together, and how much we are aligned around many policy issues, so this only serves to strengthen our advocacy efforts in the city of Grand Rapids. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
give an example. Un ejemplo, uno de, okay, this was this, this is part of the de, city's de legislative de plan. Recommended joint where it talks about supporting renewable energy. In many ways, we're already practicing this. We have the new U.S. Green Building Fellow on board to assist in the development of our sustainability plans. Really, the work there is right with what we're doing. You know, there's issues around oh, the urban waters, uh, the federal partnership, and work, the efforts to, um, to revitalize the River. Mm -hmm. so again, this is an education issue. It's a watershed. It's about teaching for the watershed. So again, there's a lot of those things that the city had lined up very much with what our interests are. Community black grants, how much our community schools efforts are supported by community organizations. Y cómo necesitamos. Good. Muy bien. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. That, es muy bueno, muy bien. Weagle, like it, que podemos, for what the city needs por la que la ciudad necesita y que los uh, comisionados y administradores están abogando lo que necesitamos. So estamos really nice interconectados. Es muy bueno ver esto y se ve que estamos more more integrated más, más integrados years, so en los últimos años pasados. Mr. Flores, I, I that, uh, yo revisé that, um, este documento también y me pregunté acerca de los temas en en retiro para maestros y cuáles son sus entrevistas acerca de esto. Sí, en esta posición en particular, vine de que la persona de la legislatura, lo que hablamos en realidad fue de que con el sistema de retiro, pero es asegurar que el Estado está haciendo una inversión apropiada en el sistema de retiro. Hablamos con el gobernador en los, por hacer esfuerzos para, para bajar la deuda. Es este, un sistema insolvente en el momento. El Estado tendrá que poner una inversión. El presupuesto actual pone casi un billón de dólares para mantener el, el nivel de retiro en el nivel que está para costos. Y el presidente también aboga para más, ver qué otras reformas se pueden hacer. Por el momento tenemos un sistema híbrido entre los beneficios definidos y contribuciones definidas. Hay un par de diferentes propuestas que están viendo qué más puede hacerse. Posiblemente modelar algunas cosas que están haciendo los, las compañías de automóviles. No hemos tomado una posición formal en estos temas individuales, pero por el momento en el sistema es insolvente y no es algo que requerirá, va a requerir reformas adicionales. Y la ciudad está batallando con algo parecido en lo, en lo que se refiere al retiro, porque eso sé que esto fue necesario. Muchísimas gracias. So we are Entonces, to estamos votando en apoyar esta como nuestra. Quiero hacer una moción para que se apruebe. Support. Se apoya. All right. Muy bien. Ross, will you take the roll? Ross, por favor, pase lista. Uh, Mr. Legrand. Señor Legrand. Pastor Moody. Pastor yes. Moody, sí. Dr. Randles. Dr. Yes. Randles, sí. Mr. Ross, yes. Ross, Ms. Lee. Sí. Yes. Dr. Yes. Dr. Falk. Yes. Dr. Falk, yes. sí. Dr. Flores. Dr. Yes. Flores, sí. President Baker. Presidente Baker, yes. sí. That motion passes La motion pasa 6 con 0. 8 contra 0, perdón. All right, next Muy bien, el siguiente tema es una agenda que escriba que se agrupa. Hace el movimiento para que la gente se, se mueve. Se apoya. Any discussion? Una discusión. Alguna discusión. Ross. Mr. LeGrand. Pastor Moody. Yes. Dr. Randles. Dr. Randles. Yes. Mr. Ross. Yes. Ms. Slade. Yes. Dr. Falk. Yes. Dr. Flores. Yes. Dr. Flores. Yes. Dr. Yes. Dr. Flores. Yes. Dr. Flores. Yes. President Baker. Presidente Baker. Yes. Sí. Percentage in the past eight zero. Uh, discussion items. We have none. Uh, next is public comment for any items. Uh, is there anyone wishing to make a public comment this evening? Is there anyone wishing to make a public comment this evening? Okay, then we'll move on to Superintendent comments. Superintendent. President Baker, President Baker, I would just like to um, thank the board for supporting the staff during my absence. I was out for uh, six weeks, um, three solid weeks, and my team, my staff, received a lot of support from the board, and they really appreciate it. So. Okay. Um, Dr. Flores, can we start with you? No comment. No comment. Mr. Grant. Superintendent, glad to have you back. Dr. Reynolds. Welcome back. 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 Welcome
Welcome back to Bienvenida. Dr. Falb also. <laughs> she was just on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually gone longer than super <laughs> 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 well, you could call it that. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> it was it's very nice having <laughs> both of you back. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and your staff, you know, did a good job. We, we checked it out yeah, to make sure. Thank you. I'm sure they're happy to have you. Yes. Yes. I'm sure. Uh, one event that we did not mention uh, during the Secretary's report is the uh, Student Advancement Foundation Mindshare uh, is happening on April 29th in the evening, and uh, we will be meeting again before that. So uh, make sure you put that on there. Uh, please let um, us know, either Julie or myself or um, Teresa, because we need to decide whether or not we should buy a table. So if board members want to go to that event, please let us know. And and uh, we will um, accommodate uh, being there. So, um, and that is a great chance to show our support to the work that the Foundation does on their behalf. So I encourage people to be there. Also, there is, um, this art is happening, and I know um, that Melinda Moore, Maggie Malone, and John Helmold has been advocating for it. On Friday and Saturday, there is the uh, Americans with Disability Act Plus that is happening at the This Art Hub downtown on Saturday at, on Friday afternoon and also Saturday afternoon, and this is sponsored by GRPS. And I think it's really important, so um, we may not think of the Americans Dis with Disabilities Act as having a social movement or civil rights movement attached to it, but any group of people that have rights in this society have had a movement attached to it, and um, the Americans with Disabilities Act is one of those, um, and it's really great. Quite, I, I'm moved by it because it's also connected to I think all of our civil rights movements um, uh, originate with the civil rights movement for African Americans in this country, and it's really remarkable to see the connections between uh, those movements, and so uh, it's really great that GRPS is sponsoring it, so make sure that you um, get a chance to see it and celebrate it. So with that, um, we're adjourned.